Hey friends, it's Quinn with PTSD. Wow, black. Um, just doing a check-in because uh, my PTSD is high today, which it it varies. I have multiple triggers, as I've stated again and again. Um, and this time it's the racial triggers. Yay! Um, the racial triggers I think have married the the triggers of not being seen for who I really am from my experiences in high school. So I'm like really just dealing with it. And I love, I love that I'm getting this opportunity to nourish my inner child and I'm seeing her at this time. Um, I'm really getting to see how, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting to see how I have, uh, since I was a child, uh, 11 years old, with my self-injury, today talking to my mentor, um, that these issues of racial trauma, of how the story is being distorted, how the protests are being co-opted by the alt-right, by police and undercover, they're inciting riots, by how the police are attacking medics, they're attacking the media so that you can't see what is really going on. Um, all these things of these secret and co-opting ways of saying that black lives don't matter here in America. And I knew this as a child. I knew this as a child. And I remember learning about the Constitution in fifth grade and having this strengthening my shoulders and a sense of pride in being an American. And then we learned about slavery. I was like, what the fuck, yo? Um, I think that was part of the um, identity difference. And then coming out as an adult, learning how we really are not seen as human. And I'm going back and I'm realizing the things that my inner child understood about what it meant for me to be black in America and the history of my self-injury and the scars, the fact that one of the scars is a swastika um, from if I just comply with those who hate me, then maybe I'll have some worth. Um, so I'm seeing all of this, the roots of, of my racial trauma. I'm getting to see it during this time. I have this weird fucked up form of gratitude and acceptance for shits just being exposed. Um, and this is, this is what we do. This is America. We paint a pretty picture to say, yeah, we look okay, but we're going to take your rights. You are not human. We're going to beat you up. We need you subdued. We need you in the prison system. We need you to stay poor so that you can stay working for us because we don't want wealth redistributed because we have this beautiful system that's set up where if you stay in your position and white people will stay to keep their position, then the elites don't have to be bothered with this whole equality bullshit. Um, so yeah, I'm just seeing it. It's just very clear. And I'm like, okay, this is America. This is the shit storm that I have to dance in and still stay serene. This is the shit storm of what, of what it means to, to have this skin. And my resistance is just the fact that I woke up this morning. My resistance is that I still find joy. My resistance is that I can tell somebody that I love them today. That I can appreciate beauty in my world, even when my world is ugly. That's part of my resistance. And so my trauma is an amazing fucking gift right now, is what I'm starting to see. It's an amazing gift of I'm having so much compassion for that inner child where she came from, what she was told, and also compassion for people who are stuck in fear right now, in such fear that they have to suppress other individuals. I'm like, what in the fuck is that shit? But that's when I choose to stay serene. When I choose to get wrapped up in the crap, I can stay in my trauma. I, I do want to document, because I did have a um, PTSD trigger moment last night when... Um, because I watched a video of a Mexican man being shot. And um, it just boom, 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 boom. Brought back all of the Facebook lynchings is now what I'm calling them. Of all the black men and women who the videos were shown. 
And so I know I had some moments of difficulty sleeping last night and I'm like, okay, I have compassion. This is what I'm living with. This is my PTSD and it's another part of my shit storm, but I'm still fucking awesome with this shit storm. That's the new thing. That's the new uh, reality that I have is like, yep, there's the shit storm. Woo. A big turd just went flying by and I'm still fucking awesome. And I still have compassion and I still have talents and gifts and my ideas are bright and I'm an awesome balloon artist and I'm a pretty good singer or at least in karaoke in my terms. And I have people who love me and I have people I love. And there's this just amazing acceptance that's happening within me right now. And it's, it's pretty sexy. It's pretty sexy to, to have this radical acceptance, this radical love, even when people try to tell you, you have no worth. So yeah, I give myself permission to have compassion with my PTSD and to cry when I need to cry and to feel those feelings and to still know that I am whole. I am a whole human being. I am awesome. I'm fucking beautiful. And I attract to me other people who are whole human beings who are awesome. And I see their fucking beauty. So this is also America. Till next time. Peace.